What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of JB360. Got a special one for you today. This is actually my first 72 volt electric scooter that I'm reviewing. And uh, <laughs> what do you know? It is the Nan Robot N6. Uh, for those of you who don't know, one of my first PUVs, uh, my first scooters that, I've, that I ever uh, purchased was a Nan Robot D6. I believe it was the D6 Plus. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, uh, when it first came out, I did have some issues, you know, with battery cutoff. Um, you know, that was pretty much my overall complaint about it. Um, it was nice, it had dual motors and whatnot, but that's probably back in 2018, 2019. Fast forward, 2023, 2024, we have here the N6. This is Nan Robot's 72 volt version. Yeah, man, this thing is really, really big. I'm not used to riding sort of these like larger, like high powered scooters. So uh, this is definitely a, a, a little bit of a learning experience, especially with the larger deck. Uh, but yeah, let's go over uh, some some specs and features uh, that the N6 has that could make it a contender for probably one of the fastest scooters under two thousand dollars all right so we make our way to the motors over here we have a uh, rear front motors uh both 1500 watt nominal uh 3000 watt dual motor uh drivetrain here and uh i believe the battery is rocking a 72 volt 30 amp hour battery i'm not sure if it's like using lg cells or samsung cells uh, i'd have to open the pack up but there is a way to open it up if you remove this these two screws here. As we make our way down here, we have sort of the Angel Eye popular uh, headlights that you see uh, with a lot of these high powered scooters. And over here, we have the uh, stem clamp. Make sure the base is locked. All you gotta do, is just loosen it. And you can bring the stem down here and then actually latch it on the hook over here. Kinda slip it in there and uh, you can carry this although uh, it weighs about 96 pounds I don't know if I'd recommend carrying this up a flight of stairs um, your best bet if you are gonna carry this is to sort of grab the bottom uh, platform here on the right and then grab this uh, bottom part of the stem over here and kind of lift it up but yeah lifting it from the stem I think is gonna sort of weaken the structure of that so I probably wouldn't recommend uh, carrying it through the stem but it is good for storing if you need to put down the stem and kind of store it away like under a table or something like that so it is nice to have that feature also one good thing I do like about the box is sort of the LED um, light kit that does come with the scooter and uh, I'm gonna actually show you guys here uh, they basically call it like an atmospheric light feature so when I turn it off and turn it on again you'll see the scooter kind of illuminate from the bottom here and uh, you can actually adjust the uh, colors uh, that illuminate from the deck uh, there's actually a remote that I <laughs> that I forgot at home but I'll show you guys later you can actually adjust like the strobe effect um, sort of the uh, the color of the light and stuff like that which is pretty cool then over here as we make our way over to the dashboard i don't know if you guys can see it that well but we have here the uh current voltage state at 82.8 volts uh we weren't fully charged when we left home today um we have here uh, trip odometer we have miles per hour and uh, we also have the gear that we're in so right now it's in park gear so to get out of park, all you would have to do is just hit the brake lever and it puts you in the uh, current mode that you want to be in. There's currently three modes, three speed modes. And in order to adjust that, you would hit the plus and minus over here. And as you can see there, you can adjust the gear, which is really nice. Now to turn on the scooter, actually, let me see if I could zoom out a little bit. So to turn off the scooter, I'm gonna hold down the power button there. Now to turn it on, when you do hold down the power button, this is actually a really nice uh, safety feature. It asks for a card, which is really your NFC card, which the uh, N6 comes with, with this little NFC card here. And then you would put it to the top there. 
and voila turns on the scooter you're able to use it you know unless someone has the same nfc reader or nfc card um, in their possession they won't be able to take the scooter and of course what is a high power scooter without dual and single motor function so right now as you can see we have it on dual uh, we're going to hit the plus button twice and that's going to put us into single mode right there Sorry for the uh, focus, guys. It is uh, hard to see with the glare, but yeah. Gone are the days of uh, having that little sort of like single and dual motor switch that you would have to figure out, oh, do I press it in, do I not? Um, so this is great that you're kind of able to do everything on the LCD screen uh, on the fly, which is nice. Also equipped with the scooter, we have the ever popular nut brakes. Uh, both hydraulic of course front and rear and uh, these have become pretty popular uh, for a lot of the uh, scooters that have been coming out uh, 2023 and 2024 uh, used to be zoom you, zoom used to be the go-to's but now uh, everybody's transitioning over to nut brakes I've heard uh, nothing but good things about them in terms of stopping power so really good to see that in uh, the N6 one thing I'm really liking too is the rear lights on the deck here. It's illuminated pretty well. And uh, when you do touch the brakes, it highlights it there, right? And you do have uh, signal controls here. You've got left, right, it's really great. And we do have a little horn here. It's very, um, <laughs> very annoying actually, but it's really mainly for pedestrians and um, this is not gonna, get cars to kind of like hear hear your horn basically all right anyways guys uh let's take the n6 out for a test ride we'll go through the modes we'll try to hit a top speed and we'll talk about pros cons what we like about it what we don't like about it and yeah hope you guys enjoy the ride whoa man this is super twitchy i gotta get used to this power <laughs> All right, so we got our GPS running here. Let's see what numbers we get. Whoa. Oh my gosh. This thing is so quick. On mode two, uh, apparently we hit 44 max. I was trying to hit top speed. We're still at 82 volts, but uh, man, that was really, really sketchy. Uh, huh. <laughs> I didn't think it would reach that reach that speed, especially at that, um, especially on that mode. Usually they, uh, especially those scooters, they cap out at around, uh, what do you call it? like 40 maybe or 35 wow so this is mode 2 top speed
gonna have to do guys we're gonna have to uh test out the top speed later there's a straightaway along west side highway that's um pretty nice Very, very impressive. I wasn't even on mode three, but already it's uh, pretty nice. And just like navigating through traffic, you know? Woo! Man, thing's crazy. I keep forgetting too, we're, we're running 72 volts. This is not like a 52 volt or 60 volt scooter. Um, so we're gonna be hitting some nice RPMs. Uh, especially when we reach the higher mode so one thing uh, <laughs> if you're not used to it there's a way to turn it off in the p settings but um, if you leave the scooter like um, kind of idle for i think like 15 seconds or 20 seconds it enables your uh, parking brake uh, which basically uh, you have to enable by hitting the hitting the brake levers so kind of kind of stinks a little bit like because i'm not used to that i'm just used to like oh you know i know it's a safety feature for you know anybody that's um itchy on the throttle but at the same time like if you're at like a stoplight and you're you know trying to <laughs> trying to move you'll you'll like automatically forget about it I, I know i did i did it already like a few times but oh man overall this scooter is is really nice i mean Pretty, pretty impressive and that uh the display is actually accurate to the uh, gps that i have on my phone and just so you guys know this is dual motor mode i have not done single motor mode um but since we're running um sort of around the slower streets let's kind of like cycle through the modes so um you guys saw mode two with dual motor uh this is mode one on dual motors you know, hitting good like 16 17 miles an hour this is nice if you're just literally like on the bike path and just like trying to chill all right so we're gonna stop here let's uh flip it on the single motor in gear one and uh <laughs> let's see uh how far single motors can carry can carry us Okay, so this, <laughs> this is a single motor. Uh, it's about, okay. It's about 15. Maybe 16 if we're lucky. Uh, I believe we can still get to the top speed, but it just takes a little bit longer. All right, I'm done with this mode. <laughs> All right. Let's go to Mo2. Oh yeah, this is more like it. This is more like it for me. Alright, so single motor. Mo2. Top speed is about 20. Oh, 31. Woo! Thirty-one. I saw thirty-one on the GPS. Thirty-one on the display. Woo! Oh, this is pretty nice, man. Mode two. I'm really liking mode two on the scooter, whether it be single or du or uh, dual motor. All right, so uh, let's hop into mode three. All right, mode three. Here we go. Thirty-two on the display is really nice. Woo. 
forgot to mention, uh, unboxing the uh, scooter was actually pretty pretty easy. Uh, all you had to really do was uh, tighten the stem clamp and uh, just charge the battery. That's uh, one of the things I, I love about uh, scooters. So, like I was saying before, uh, installation was actually pretty easy. I uh, didn't really have any issues with it uh, once it came out the box. It's pretty uh, straightforward in terms of putting the scooter together. Oof. Look at these bumps. Ooh. I keep forgetting I'm on single mode right now. I'm going to flip it to dual. All right, here we go. All right, we got some speed here. Let's go. <laughs> that guy is crazy. Oh, damn. This is nice. Yeah, this uh, scooter is really able to cut up traffic. Super nice. hour so we're gonna see a lot a lot of congestion but so far so good Ooh. in terms of the scooter it's handling is very sturdy especially the stem really really nice yeah I do like mode 2 as well uh, with dual motors I, I, it's like a good like sweet spot in terms of uh, power and acceleration I'm not getting like uh, crazy amounts of uh, of torque on mode two as I as opposed to mode three. Whew. I do love these grips here too. They're super ergonomic. Um, have no issues with uh, accelerating when I need to. I mean, no issues with uh, any slippage in terms of uh, holding on to the uh, throttle and stuff like that. Flip it into mode three. Let's just see the power differential. Whoa. All right. Here we go. Top speed.
50 miles an hour. Woo! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Woo! That was amazing. One thing I will say um, for any scooter that goes over 45 miles an hour or over 40 miles an hour for that matter is uh, definitely, definitely want to invest in a uh, steering dampener, especially if you're planning to pin it for uh, for a while, especially on straightaways and stuff like that. But uh, man, this scooter is uh, has advertised in terms of speed. All right, man. All right, man. Ride safe, bro. I'll probably have a different bike, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> what? Yeah. This is when all the lights are on. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. Check it out. This is the N6 with all the lights on, including the deck light. Rear light over here. Uh, angel eye. Headlight over here. Kind of pointing to the ground. But this light right here, this bar... This light bar is really, really bright. It's super, uh, super noticeable at night, especially I think for cars, because it's it's pretty. Uh, <laughs> it's almost like a glow stick. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a little bit of a hill climbing test. Our uh, famous hill climbing Staten Island elevation test. It's about like four or five different hills at once, and uh, we're gonna keep it on mode three. So. Let's give it a go. Woo. Man, I took that hill so easily. <laughs> let's see, should I keep it on mode two or mode three going up these hills? Uh, let's try mode two because we, we can cap out at about like 40 something miles an hour. So let's see uh, how it fares. Okay, here we go. First hill. Oh, man. <laughs> Woo -wee. Oh, God. damn. The scooter is a beast. Holy cow. Picking those turns is like really, really easy. Damn, man. And I'm still good on volts right now. About 76, 77 volts. All right, here we go. Second set of hills. Going uphill again, guys. Oh. oh, man. <laughs> Too fast for these cars, yo. <laughs> I'm not even fully uh, fully throttling right now. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing is so quick. Wow. This is the fastest I've made it up this hill, actually. Besides my uh, my stealth bomber, but oh my god. This thing's crazy. This, <laughs> this scooter is a lot of fun, man. So we have the N6 here. Uh, we pretty much rode it most of the day. And we put it through its paces, riding aggressive, and also cycling through all the modes. So yeah, let's give our final verdict. Now, just an FYI, I'm actually gonna be doing another video with the N6 
which will be a range test video. And uh, considering it is a 30 amp hour pack, uh, we're gonna put it through its paces and kind of see how it stacks up in terms of long range commuting versus short range commuting. Stay tuned for that. All right, so let's start with the pros with the N6. One pro, definitely, definitely the top speed. If you're looking for a scooter, especially a 72 volt out of the box, I don't know if there's many that you can kind of compare this to in terms of top end speed. I mean, as you, as you saw earlier, we hit 50 miles an hour on mode three. And uh, I feel as though, I don't know if there was a limiter on it or anything like that, but I felt like it could have given it could have given a bit more. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a top end speed, uh, especially with uh, an out of the box scooter plus it's 72 volts, N6 definitely checks those boxes. Another pro uh, I would like to mention is the absolutely crazy light deck that it has going on here. Besides the um, full on light bar here, and you have your angel eye uh, headlight right here as well as the uh, deck lights. It really, really illuminates the night, makes it very noticeable for cars, especially at night. And the fact that you can customize your uh, RGB sort of pattern and like strobing effect. All right guys, so I figured I'd show y'all the uh, light functions with the remote. So you can actually cycle through uh, different color schemes depending on your preference. I kind of like this uh, little like flared white light effect going on right there you can even adjust the uh, brightness can make the brightness really low as you can see there or you can increase it however you like super super customizable also I forgot to mention there's even a uh, light pattern going on in the front of the scooter it's freaking crazy Dude, the deck light illumination is insane. And then uh, if I were to list the third pro, I would definitely have to say the brakes. The nut brakes on this scooter are super, super responsive. At stopping distance, you can really like hit that 40, 45 mile an hour mark and sort of like hit those brakes on a dime uh, without even <laughs> having a worry in, in the world about that. So it's... The nut brakes compared to like zoom brakes, for instance, like no comparison. These these feel a lot better, a lot more heftier. Okay, guys, now on to the cons. Uh, I know we don't like to talk about it, like I always say, but you gotta mention it. Uh, stabilizers or steering damper. If you are gonna get this scooter and you plan on hitting 45 miles an hour plus, I definitely, definitely recommend a steering dampener. Um, you can get one for pretty cheap, but when you hit sort of that 40 mile an hour, 45 mile an hour mark, you do start to feel um, a little bit of wobble. Um, I think if you do sort of like lean back, lean back and sort of like lean low on the scooter, you're able to stabilize it. But if you kind of want to stand up a little bit, uh, you will start to feel that wobble. Uh, especially going past 45. So I would highly recommend getting a uh, stabilizer or some type of steering dampener uh, just to kind of like keep the uh, stem at bay from having any type of death wobble. Uh, the other con I would say, and this is kind of like a little, mm, little nitpicking, but I don't really like the parking uh, feature. I know you can adjust it in the app and stuff like that, but sort of out the box if someone does want to start using it right away, you know, and just kind of like going through the basics, uh, that parking feature doesn't really, in my mind, in my opinion, it doesn't really help as much, especially when you're in traffic and you need to accelerate after a stop. Uh, you don't want to be stuck just like kind of like standing there and the traffic's right behind you. So uh, I would say when you do get this scooter, definitely turn off the uh, parking feature. But yeah, I'm not really a fan of the uh, parking brake. Uh, I just think it's counterintuitive to, you know, using this type of scooter, especially when you're always going to be on the move. But yeah, guys, overall, I really, really like this, uh, especially uh, the fact that it is 72 volts. You don't really have to do much modifications uh, to the scooter itself. I mean, if you're planning to go like 60, 65, I would say, like, look at dual trons or 
look at some other like nami scooters and stuff like that but if you're looking for something if you're on a budget and you're looking to go uh hit those higher uh top speed numbers the n6 is definitely definitely a good choice so highly recommend it and the fact that it is kind of portable you can you know lower the stem you know store it if you need to i know a lot of the high-end scooters nowadays they don't have a foldable stem uh so <laughs> the fact that this does still have that feature is definitely a big plus in my book Right, guys well that's it for today i uh, hope you guys like the review on the n6 from nan robot and this is the 72 volt 30 amp hour version i'll be doing another video with a full range test to really put the battery to the test and uh, to really put the battery uh to its limits and uh see if we can get it to its uh cut off but anyways guys feel free to like and subscribe and uh yeah i'll catch you guys on the next one peace mm -hmm.